In this video, we're going to be going over the dynamic checkboxes, both for sections and for fields. The dynamic checkboxes can be used to dynamically show and hide the different fields and different sections as needed. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So as you'll see right here, I've got the demo for that we had from the section configuration right here still set up. And I'll go ahead and show you over here on the left hand side or on the right hand side exactly what I mean. So let's go ahead and leave editing mode. And you'll notice over here, each one of these, the filter by salary and filter by rate, both of these are separate sections that are being output right here. But you'll notice there's a checkbox next to them, so they don't actually show until you actually select that checkbox. This is exactly the same as this one up over here. I've just added different styles to this to show this different field. Normally, you'll want to have the section to handle multiple fields inside of it, whereas a field the dynamic checkbox for the fields is only just for that field specifically itself. So let's go ahead and get back into editing mode and let's go ahead and edit this right here. And so you'll notice whenever you're editing a section or a field, there will be this checkbox drop down right here. You'll have three different options. You can either have it hidden, which is the default. You can show it while it's checked initially or unchecked initially. So what that means is whenever the page loads for the user, if you have it checked initially, it's initially going to be checked and the fields inside of this section will show. If it's unchecked initially, it will not and it will actually hide them by default. Now, whenever you have this configured like this and you end up saving it with unchecked initially, it's always going to revert back to being unchecked. You can also always just come in here and click it to view these fields again or you can leave editing mode to actually go through there and see it. So you'll notice whenever I did this, I'm unchecking it those two fields right there end up hiding. That's because both those fields are in this section. I select it, the fields end up showing, and it will actually update the search listings based on these fields. So if these fields get removed, it'll update the search listings. When they get added, it'll update them. This is specifically for sections, like I said, whereas over here with the checkbox. This is exactly the same for fields as well. So you'll notice over here for the search radius one, we have this set up for an actual field. So we come in here to edit the field, and you'll notice here we have the same exact drop down, the checkbox one. You'll see here, this one is actually set to be checked initially. And we'll go ahead and come over here, and you'll see when the page is actually loaded, this is automatically checked itself. When the user wants to uncheck that, they can uncheck that, and that will basically hide and show the field itself. So again, if you want to hide multiple fields, use the section checkbox. If you want to hide just that individual field itself, you would use just the field one. Now, these are available for any of the fields. So you'll notice if I come in here, you know, you'll see that the checkbox is set to hide. This is always going to be the default setting. And the difference here between the sections and the fields is that with a section, you can have the label to where the label is actually going to say something like, you know, advanced search or something. And with the field itself, the field label is going to be specific to that field as well. So you'll notice I come over here for this field, you'll see search radius right here. That's pretty much it is for just the initial the checkbox, dynamic checkboxes. Um, in a future update, we'll actually be adding some conditional logic. But for now, this is really the only conditional logic that's available in the plugin on the initial release.